Palmetto Bay Homes Tour starts today, early 2014, by yours truly, Mike Schuler, real estate broker for Cutler Realty, in business for over 30 years, with a personal invite to join me and my trusty video camera as we tour the lovely Village of Palmetto Bay, also known as the Village of Parks. We will start with the southwest corner that's bordered by Franjo Road and Eureka Drive, which is 97th Avenue, and quick stops at the Village Hall, Palmetto Bay Park, and some of the churches and schools in the immediate area of Richmond Drive, which is 168th Street. Eureka Drive, This uh, we're entering Palmetto Bay on Franjo Road, Franjo's 97th Avenue. And over here to the left, he's gonna pan over to the left, behind the State Farm Building and all the way up to the highway, is that area that in a previous video I called the Triangle. That's the commercial development that Palmetto Bay is doing the feasibility study to determine whether to build um, the infrastructure and buildings for a new downtown commercial area in the so-called Triangle. So as we head north on 97th Avenue, we're going to stop at the Village Hall and get out for a few minutes. Keep in mind, as we head north here, also I mentioned how the streets are numbered. So from Eureka Drive up to Richmond Drive is one mile. That's the distance we'll be cover covering here in just a moment. Turning into the municipal building, main entrance. As you can see, beautiful building, well thought out. Okay, we're at the Village Hall, and uh, Jacob wants to know what we do here. So I'll tell you what I do. Basically, uh, checking permit issues, uh, things like that related to real estate. Also, currently a hot subject, not a real good one, is flood insurance. And the people here were gracious enough to help me out. I have a giant Palmetto Bay flood map to instantly tell whether you're in a flood zone or not and other information. Also, the council meetings are here every month. So there's quite a few departments here. Uh, Parks and Rec is around the corner with a separate building over near the field that we're going to see at the uh, uh, Palmetto Bay Park. So we'll come back with that in a moment. But also, I wanted to mention in the distance here, uh, besides this lush landscaping that I love, uh, I see Total Bank in the background. I don't know if Jacob can uh, zero in on the bank over there, but that used to be the Bank of Perrine, or as locals would say, Perrine. And uh, I've been at the same bank for over 30 years and basically very user friendly and uh, not the crowded type of banks that the majors have. So I really enjoy that too. Figured I'd give them a plug and we'll see you over at the park. Turning on to 175th Terrace, which is the entrance to the park, Palmetto Bay Park. And uh, basically, again, this used to be known as Pirine, Pirine Park. And I come to this park uh, myself and now bring my grandkids, etc. That uh, goes back to the 1960s and 70s, basically. And I see the uh, skateboard park here that was not here when I was uh, a younger man. But I do see the basketball court, which I'm uh, always very fond of basketball. I have a game at my house uh, a couple nights a week. I might have to give out my cards to these gentlemen right here. They've uh, greatly expanded this uh, since uh, I was a youngster. But uh, basically, we'd play basketball that we just uh, took a shot of over here. And uh, softball here, you can see they've renovated the fields. Okay, Jacob and I uh, just stepped out of the car because I wanted you to see this too. This is a pretty extensive uh, uh, toddler park that uh, my grandkids really enjoy. And um, again, I encourage you to use the facilities. This is uh, US 1 and 175th Terrace is the entrance. Alrighty then, we're headed east on Richmond Drive, 168th Street. So keep in mind, yes, we're one mile from Eureka Drive, 184th, subtract 16 to 168th. That's how we know it's one mile. And we're approaching Christ Fellowship, one of the most dynamic churches in Palmetto Bay. And we're going to go ahead and get out. I'm going to have a few things to say about it. So um, we'll see you on the outside. All right, welcome to Christ Fellowship, and before I forget it, I want to let you know, after the truck goes by, 
I still watch services here online as much as anything and you can go online and see Pastor Rick Blackwood, very dynamic uh, pastor here and his service talks are, are posted each Monday and Tuesday after the weekend service and basically it's cfmiami.org, cfmiami.org and I think you'll find it very useful and instructive and enjoyable. So check that out too. We're going to go on to the other side to see the uh, rest of the facilities. Right across from uh, the back side and I don't know if you can get that sign in here but this is the school section and I've uh, dropped off a few grandkids here and there. The, the uh, preschool pre-k uh, daycare center is uh, I'll vouch for them. They're great. The, the equivalent of the elementary school here is called Christ Fellowship Academy very highly ranked and thought of in the community, Palmetto Bay. So uh, I encourage you to find out more again online in case you could not hear me as well on the outside. It's cfmiami.org and I encourage you to visit. All right, on the back side of Christ Fellowship, uh, I love this fact that they uh, encourage neighbors, uh, whatever, to use the facilities here. Uh, I used to use the, uh, basically the tennis court was here in the old days, basketball court, uh, racquetball, but you can see the sign here, open to the public, you know, other than times when there's services. So you'll get to see me shoot a basket or two over here on the court. Follow me. Okay, made one, let's go. Okay, on the north side of Richmond Drive, we're passing Perrine Elementary. And uh, I just looked up the stats before we left, and basically they, they uh, rank in the top 25% on test results for 2013 throughout the entire state of Florida. So very good ranking there.